The following podcast may contain adult language and an abundance of salt. So get ready to silence your noise because we're talking chaos walking. <laughs> Welcome and thank you for listening to the Salty Nerd Podcast. I'm your host, the Salty Nerd. Today we're going to be talking about that new Daisy Ridley and Tom Holland movie, Chaos Walking. And uh, it's going to be a thing. And I'm joined as always by my <laughs> panel of nerds, my salty nerds, starting with Tom. Welcome, man. Uh, Vader's not here. Thank you for having me in his place. Uh, I will bring plenty of salt. Yes, <laughs> please bring the salt. It, it needs a, it's like a, it's like a snail. It needs salting. <laughs> Slugs don't like salt, folks. <laughs> they don't like I'm it. also joined by Jude. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> and Matthew Kadish, producer of the show. Oof. Boy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, we're going. Yes, good synopsis, Kadish. Like ultimate. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Full salty nerd. <laughs> Take it away, Jude. Ooh. What is All this? All right. Can you even tell me what this movie is about? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. for sure. Um, okay, Chaos Walking uh, came out this year. And, oh, shit. What a stupid freaking title, too. Can, can, can we just read the quote of what Chaos Walking is from the stupid movie? Yeah, that's what she's doing. Uh, no, no, the, the beginning where it says Chaos Walking is. Oh, Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't have that. Yeah, because they, they explain what chaos walking is in the beginning. Okay. Uh, well, it, it's a quote about like oh, yes, okay. a man who can't hide his thoughts or something. No, like yes. But, but it was quoted from a guy who lives on New World, yeah. which they don't even name the planet. Just New World. Mm -hmm. Not New Earth, <laughs> not Earth 2, not Terra Mana, not nothing. Just New. That's a New World, y'all. <laughs> All right. Not so, KXB one three seven. No, New yeah. World. Uh, Chaos Walking. Um, I don't have a rating for it. No. Does it have a rating? It said okay. So on four Amazon stars. Prime, it says four stars. No, I meant oh, it's PG thirteen. Okay. Oh, oh that kind uh, of rating. Okay. Oh, that rating. So Chaos Walking, two thousand one. I'm two thousand twenty one. Let me start. Two thousand twenty one. Chaos Walking rated PG thirteen with a runtime of one hour forty nine minutes. Had a budget of one hundred twenty five million dollars for this. Yes, the special effects are good. Are they though? I mean, they don't redeem. Oh yeah, anything. all that noise around there. <laughs> yeah, heads. They, they don't redeem it. Uh, and I'm just gonna tell you. Yeah. Uh, so so far, the worldwide gross has been twenty one million dollars. Sounds about right. That's. People like us who have to talk about it, so we have to rent it. Yes, so here is a synops synopsis. In Prentice Town, Todd has been brought up to believe that the spackle released a germ that killed all the women and unleashed noise on the remaining men. Spackle! After discovering a patch of silence out in the swamp, his surrogate parents immediately tell him that he has to run, leaving him with only a map of New World, a message, and many unanswered questions. Me too. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, you said surrogate parents? Yeah. They what, weren't really his parents. One of those wasn't his dad. No, no, no. They weren't related to him. They were friends my mind, with his My mom. mind is further blown. Okay. <laughs> he soon discovers the source of the silence, a girl. <laughs> So, Kadish, I'm sure you're well aware of the nonsense that went on behind the scenes with this movie. You want to fill in the audience and let them know? Of course. Oh, my okay. God. I watched so much backstory. Take, take it away, because I know there's a ton that happened behind the scenes. Can like The some... studio literally was like, don't release this movie. Yeah, can we pop popcorn? Because I really want to just pay attention to Matt for like <laughs> a while. Take it away, Kadish. What happened to this movie? All right. So, first of all, this is a Doug Liman film. And for those of you who don't know who Doug Liman is, he was the uh, director of Swingers with John Favreau. Hmm. And he went on to do like The Born Identity and um, um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith and Edge of Tomorrow or uh, Live, Die, Repeat, however, whatever you want those to call that. Those are all pretty movie. solid movies. These are movies. all good movies. Yeah. Swingers yeah. doesn't hold up, but those are all good movies. Yeah, so um, Doug Liman, he's basically known as the type of director who finds his movies during the post-production and reshoot process. So, like, he kind of goes into movies the fixer. Without, without, no, he's not a fixer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's the type of guy who needs to be fixed, basically. <laughs> um, like, like, he got he got banned from doing any of the Bourne sequels because basically uh, the studios kept giving him notes and he was just like shooting stuff willy nilly. He didn't know how it was going to fit into the movie um, un until the editing, uh, they got into the editing room and wow, that's they interesting. did stuff. Um, so he's basically one of these directors who just kind of lets the story kind of percolate 
for instance, Mr. And Mrs. Smith didn't have a finished script when they started filming it. You and, don't say. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shocker, right? <laughs> um, but he's, he's just one of those directors who kind of like um, just kind of goes with the flow. And when you're dealing with a hundred million plus dollars, that's usually not a good way to go about making a movie. And so basically this I mean, movie. doesn't everyone have a hundred million dollars today? It's not that much money. Come on, you guys. <laughs> well, Lionsgate. Um, you know, which is the company that produced this film, uh, didn't have a hundred million dollars to spare. <laughs> um, but um, essentially, uh, so Lionsgate bought the rights to Chaos Walking, which was a series of popular young adult novels because of the popularity of the Hunger Games. And so they wanted to have yeah. like another one of these like young adults. The like, Divergent, the Maze yeah. Runners. Yeah, and all that. I, yeah. When we when when we saw the trailer for this, um, I, I said, I think I read this book. <laughs> like this is very similar to a lot of yeah and and there, there there are three books in the series and this was supposed to be the launching of a new franchise and uh doug lyman when he came on board he got daisy ridley to sign on he got tom holland to sign on they were very big hot properties at the time yeah right off of spider-man and star wars and stuff like that and so uh basically he went and he shot the movie the way that doug lyman shoots a movie and when the they screened um, the rough cut for the studio executives, they were like, "This is unreleasable. We can't put this out in theaters." And and so hey, they tell that to call Joss, Joss Whedon. Whedon. Yeah, tell that to Joss Whedon. <laughs> uh, Hold my beer. <laughs> we're putting out a movie. Yeah. So basically, this movie was so nonsensical and had like you know so many problems with it that the, the studio was like, "Okay, we have to." do reshoots to try to salvage this thing because we can't put it out in the state it's in. So they put up another $15 million oh my God. for reshoots. And the problem was, is that during the time where they were supposed to be doing reshoots, Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley were both off doing Marvel uh, and, uh, and Star Wars. And so they had to wait like an extra six months before they could like do, start doing reshoots for this stuff. And in fact, Tom Holland missed the premiere of Endgame because he was stuck doing reshoots for this movie. <gasps> Yeah. Boy, that's a bummer. Right? God. <laughs> the great, one of the greatest movies of all time. And you're making this dog shit movie. And, and they actually brought in another director to kind of oversee the uh, the reshoots because they had no faith in Doug Lyman. Oh, yeah. And Was um, it Joss Whedon? No, no. It, <laughs> that would have been awesome, though. <laughs> it would have been so awesome. <laughs> no, it was, it was uh, the guy who did the Evil Dead reboot. Um, hmm. I, I forget his name. But he also did uh, Don't Breathe. That, okay. That horror movie. Yeah. Um, the old man. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. Um, so basically the, uh, one of the interesting things that I found in my research was like in the book. So in, in, in the movie, they don't really explain a lot about like, Nope. What happened? <laughs> Anything. <laughs> yeah. um, but in, in the book, so the noise germ is like a natural contagion on the planet. It's, it, it was not an attack from the spackle and the men of Prentice town were. So it is a virus. It, it's a virus and the men of Prentice town were driven mad by the noise and they resented the women's ability to remain silent. And so because they went crazy, they killed all the women yeah. and then they were banished f by the other settlers off into the swamps where they built this like settlement and it was led by the mayor who learned to control his noise and stuff like that. And, and so like, I was like, you know, if they had just mentioned that somewhere in this movie, they did so not much explain would have made that sense. at all. They kind of hinted at it, but it wasn't very clear. Uh, because there was a there was a moment where there was a bunch of exposition exposition dump, yeah. and they kind of talked about that, but yeah. because it was so out of context, you didn't really understand what they were saying. Mm -hmm. But but j just getting back to the chaos behind this movie, um, so after they did the reshoots, like they kept pushing it back, and then like COVID hit, and they had to keep pushing it back, and finally they released like this movie actually came out in theaters, and it did its theatrical run, didn't make a whole lot of money, and now it's it's out on on Prime for you know. Uh, Rental Pre fee. Premium rental. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> he just burps. <laughs> yeah. So, so so basically, like th this movie was a huge financial flop for Lionsgate. Mm. They basically had to eat like a uh, hundred million dollar loss on this oh, thing, gosh. and they even pumped more money into it for the reshoots wow. and all that stuff. And and, oh. and Daisy Ridley and, and Tom Holland were terrible in this movie. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, like Daisy Ridley's performance. I was like, seriously? Oh know. God, she's she barely did anything. Barely talks, barely does anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like in in the book, she had that I, face actually, the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the one. That, that's her face. <laughs> that's her face. <laughs> um, but in, in the book, so the book actually has a much darker ending than the movie. 
and you can tell like i think that the movie had a reshot ending because the, the ending for this movie is ridiculous. Yeah, the ship it's very nonsensical. Yeah. 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 But, but in the book, they basically, they make it to this town called Haven, which was like the first settlement. And the mayor tracks them down. He, uh, his son shoots and wounds um, Viola, Daisy Ridley's character. And in order to save um, Viola, basically Tom Holland has to um, let the mayor win. And the mayor like takes over the planet. Um, and it's like a setup for the future books, I guess, but um, it, it's a very kind of a downer ending. And my guess is that that was the ending that Doug Lyman went with initially. Mm -hmm. And the studio executives were like, this is, this yeah, is the dark. studio was like, listen, we're not going to do a sequel. <laughs> so just cap it off <laughs> and let it end. Um, okay. So my, my opening thoughts on this movie, um, I, the concept itself, I felt like with like the men, you can hear and see their thoughts. You can either go two ways. You can go full comedy and do like what women want, you know, with Mel Gibson, where like he can hear people thinking and he's like, what? That's weird. Like, and he's kind of playing with that aspect of it and kind of go with the funny side. They hinted at that a couple of times, but it was always super rapey and weird when Tom Holland was like, I want to kiss her so bad right now. Uh -huh. And it's like a, a, a talking head above him. And I'm like, that, that's not how you, that's not a good idea. Uh -huh. And that got super weird. But the other way you could do it is you go like full mutant superpowers which they also hinted in which this movie they also do yes. yeah where they're like you can project fully realized objects into the space and you can trick people into thinking that things are there that they're not like they didn't they hinted at that but they never leaned into and, it and you could control the noise like uh, mad mads mickelson's mayor character was in full control like mm -hmm. like he, yes. he, would, he would never project anything he didn't want other people you're, to hear you're like a woman yeah. <laughs> how'd you like that the crazy preacher <laughs> how'd you like that subtle sexism it, there was just like fire <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, no, I can't see your thoughts. You're like a woman. No, they, they were the He-Man woman haters. They were in their clubhouse. So stupid. Yeah, no. But in, in the books, I was like, "What? How do you think you all are going to survive?" Right. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just going to die out so that we don't have to be around those crazy bitches <laughs> with, no, the with no thoughts rolling around those their heads. Women. Who knows what's going on in that brain? We got to kill them. Gotta kill him. So stupid. It's a tale as old as time. Yeah. But in, in the books, um, animals also had the noise. And so um, uh, Tom Holland's character and his dog, like they could like see each other's thoughts and like really like connect well, that's with interesting. each other. And they I left, would have enjoyed that. They left that out in the movie. Well, but dog that, died in this one too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but that, no. <laughs> that was one of the reasons why like he had such a close relationship with his dog. Never know, mentioned the in the books. movie. Yeah. And, and when the preacher kills the dog in the movie, you're just like he drowns it. Yeah. It's really, oh yeah, it's, it's really a, it's, terrible. It's, it's, it's brutal. Very oh aggressive. My God. Yeah. Yeah. He's like looking him in the eye and drowning his uh -huh. puppy. And like <laughs> and then, you, you. <laughs> I mean, and if you're gonna go that route, you should go that route and double down on it. But and then what? Um, what is his name? It's Tom Holland's character. I'm Todd Hewitt. I'm Todd Hewitt. I'm Todd Hewitt. I'm Todd Hewitt. I don't know. He says it like Pete, nine million uh, times. It's Peter I'm, Parker. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think his name is Tom Holland. It, it, uh, no, it's like Toby it, it, something. It's, right? to it's to Todd, Todd Hewitt. Todd, Todd Hewitt. Yeah. To same thing. Uh, so what he, when he's thinking about like his dead dog, he's seeing his dog playing in happy thoughts. Like, no, dude, you're you're thinking about the yeah. last time you saw your dog die. Yeah. That's another thing. I, I thought the, oh, yeah. the people's thoughts were not accurate to uh, how people think. Yeah, and so, they only they only happened at like really plot convenient times. So, so so the plot of this movie is that we we open up on this planet. It's called New World, and and <laughs> Boo. Ba ba great name. Wow. Ba basically, <laughs> settlers from Earth came there like a hundred something years ago. Sixty five. So, something. Um, sixty five. Yeah, it was like sixty five. Yeah. No, no, it was sixty five years since the the next wave was supposed to come. But in, anyway. Anyway. So basically, the settlement or the settlers go to this planet. And they have a conflict with the natives who are called the Spackle. And supposedly... The, what a waste the, of freaking money and effort that is. Yeah. And, and supposedly uh, there's this feature on this planet that f that makes a man's thoughts like kind of verbalized. So like anything you think um, can be heard by other people. Yeah, it's a thought bubble. Yeah. yeah. I also found that really distracting and also really annoying. Yeah. When, yeah. It, it was really annoying. When like Tom Holland's character would be saying something and then over his own voice would be another voice. And it was just constant throughout the whole movie. He's like, oh, I don't know what I can do. Maybe I should do this. Shut up myself. It just, I'm like, dude, 
give it a rest. <laughs> and, and basically there's a settlement and all the women are dead. And Tom Holland's like the youngest guy there. And so um, what happens is another settlement ship finally arrives from Earth. And it took them like a really long time to get there. And so they send down a scouting party. And they're thinking, they're going to be so excited to see us. <laughs> and, and the minute the scouting party enters the atmosphere, all the men get infected with the noise and they start freaking out and it crashes. And Daisy Ridley's the only survivor. And so, you know, she finds, like Tom Holland finds her and realizes like, you know, it's the first girl that he's ever seen. And so- um, If it's a virus, how do they get it in the command? It's capsule? a virus in the book, but okay. not in the movie. In the movie, it's kind of like this weird, like- Aurora effect. Yeah. 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 Um, so <laughs> essentially like once Tom Holland finds Daisy Ridley's character, uh, he has to get her away from his village because the mayor, uh, wants to, um, use her to contact her ship in order to trick them so that he can take over the planet. Mm -hmm. And so like, they have to get her to this other, you know, settlement that Tom Holland didn't know about previously. And it's kind of like a Trek movie. Where, and like, there's women there and babies. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's just, it's a mess of a movie and it's, it's so, so stupid. It's, it's, so, baby. <laughs> it's so stupid and boring. It's like, oh my God, I'm not the youngest person that I know anymore. Weird. <laughs> so the, the worst part for me is they set up like a hundred possibilities and scenarios and none of it pans out. The aliens don't pan out for anything whatsoever. They only showed up once, right? For no yeah. reason. Yeah. For no, for no reason. reason. And he seemed to be a nice guy. And was like an armless one, right? He yeah. only had one arm. Yeah, and, and he was dragging Spider-Man and then Spider-Man tried to kill him and he was like, bro, it's I'm, I'm That's chill. cool, I'm man. I'm chill, bro. I'm and chill. And he's got thoughts in his head. Uh -huh. It was just so, yeah, and then you never yeah, see him again. Never and and the minute he sees Daisy Ridley, he's like, you know, um, oh, she's cool. <laughs> and then just runs away. Yeah. Oh, yellow hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. Again, with the super like creepy they vibes. They also don't have blondes yeah. on this planet. Yeah, and did, what a terrible did, wig did, too. Didn't she look like um, the girl from Fifth Element? A little bit. Lilu? Lilu? Yeah, she yeah, had the same Lilu. haircut, but yeah. that's, that's it. That, yeah, is that her hair? Is that a, no, that was a wig. That's a wig, right? That's a that, very that bad wig. wig. Yeah. yeah. I, I just, I don't have anything good to say about this movie. I, mean, I don't know how much salt I can pour on it. It's boring, it's dumb, it's nonsensical. It doesn't the make any acting sense. is terrible. It doesn't add up. It looked good. Did it though? I, I thought mean, so. It, it was. It wasn't a bad looking movie. Like, no, I mean it wasn't cheap looking. It, if that's it, what you mean. It, it didn't look like Bloodsport. You know, it, it was. It, it, <laughs> whoa! How whoa, dare you? Whoa. <laughs> whoa! Who's the cinematographer in Bloodsport? You wash your mouth out with soap, sir. <laughs> I'm not saying I didn't enjoy it. I said the movie sucks. Uh, no, I mean it looks pretty. The color. It's very vibrant. Okay. The 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 the. the being in nature is lovely, and <laughs> I I live in a desert, and I miss trees. I miss trees, So too. I see trees, I'm like, oh, that looks nice. I want to I go for a walk there. <laughs> and then you just, nothing pans out. They kill the dog horribly. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't meet his mom, and they allude to that. And it, it just everything they allude to yeah, doesn't pan I thought, out. I thought maybe his mom was going to end up being over there. Yeah. But, no, yeah. she's dead. Uh, yeah. yeah. She got murdered by. What's her name from Star Wars? I, I, Daisy Ridley? I She's only been good in one movie that I've seen her in, and that's oh, what was it? Orient Express. I couldn't. I, I I agree with that. I couldn't. But she, but I she just had to be that. British. I don't remember yeah. her being in that. Just be basically Kira Knightley. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the poor man's Kira Knightley. Yeah. <laughs> she yeah. looks just like yeah. her. Sounds just like her. Yeah. It's basically she just, she'll never be Kira Knightley. Well, she needs a couple of really good movies under her belt. And she's not been. She ruined Star Wars. She. It wasn't her fault. It was. No, it was not. I blame her. <laughs> That's ridiculous. She's the protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just. I mean, I like Tom Holland, but he wasn't even that good in this he, movie. Okay, how old is Tom Holland? Twenty three. Is that all? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Oh, that's better. You can't even grow a mustache. I thought he was 34 no. and just looked like he was 12. Yeah, they, they actually they, oh, they, the asked, they asked him to he's grow. A, they asked him to grow a beard for this movie, <laughs> and like after like a month, he had like a wisp of a yeah. mustache. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, he's a baby. <laughs> like, like he has to wear a merkin. Like, because I think in that <laughs> Uncharted, yeah, he said a merkin. On. Yeah, in the Uncharted movie that he's supposed to be making, he has like a little weird mustache. Or there's a movie with him in it. I can't remember if it's Uncharted or something else. Well, the, but no, he has a mustache. That's a weird casting too. Look, I like Tom Holland. He, I do too. He's he's a charming guy, and mm -hmm. he carries him. He's funny and humble. And yeah, he, he's good. I like his delivery. Uh, but not, this, not for Drake. Come on. No, they made him Indiana Jones. Yeah, it's not. It's like work. when they try to make what's his name Indiana Jones in the fourth one. Oh, no, 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 Sh no, no, no. Uh, Shia LaBeouf. Sh Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> like you're Indiana <laughs> Jones now. Mutt. 
Uh, Shia LaBeouf. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah that movie that, doesn't what? exist, sir. What movie? Exactly. No, no, there's a fourth one. Yep. The Crystal, <laughs> Crystal Skulls. Uh, fourth one? No. Crystal Skulls? I think you are talking about a dream that you had. Co- co- a com- nightmare, you mean? There's communists. <laughs> there's communists and aliens. And yeah. Uh, George, weird... George Lucas and Steven Spielberg <laughs> uh, both raped I, I, Harrison Ford. I, I, I don't know what you're you talking about. You guys don't remember about. seeing that? God. I do not think that word means what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> Define rape. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> talking about rape again. Oh, you know man. what? This movie didn't have enough rape. Honestly, there's no amount of talking that we could not do about this movie. To, and we, we, we could just sit here and bitch about it literally forever. Yeah. Because say, nothing about it makes any sense. And, and with good actors and people you like. I mean, Matt, Matt Mickelson. Matt Mickelson's awesome. He's amazing. He's awesome in everything. I he, watched him yeah. in a movie recently where he was literally the only person on screen for the entire two hours. Yeah. It was a survival movie. He was stuck and stranded in like the Arctic or something. I think I saw amazing that. Amazing movie. I was going to say, was it a survival movie? Yeah. Yeah. But amazing he's good. movie. He's but good. he's amazing. He's good. Yeah. yeah. And this he, movie, he was terrible. Like he conveys. He's emotion. not terrible. The movie. Is. He, he, he's dressed like a pimp <laughs> with, with a big old hat, with like the big hat <laughs> and, and like the, the raccoon, the like fox fur. Yeah. <laughs> and, and his "I'm going to brunch" <laughs> urban sombrero. Is he dressed like Baron Zemo? Yes. Yeah. So with a hat. <laughs> Oh, it's so okay, goofy. I will say, I I'm did... I'm a mayor now. <laughs> Here's my mayor hat. Yeah, I'm a mayor hat. <laughs> so we watch a lot of movies for this podcast in varying degrees of excellence. Mm-hmm. Um, some of them make me irate through the process of watching them. This didn't do that. I didn't hate the act of watching this movie. However, it's not a good movie. I don't recommend it. Um, it never went anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Mm -mm. It looks fine. And if you're a dumb person, you'll probably like it. (laughs) No offense to dumb people. $21 Um, million. (laughs) I'm kind of dumb, but um, also I didn't like it. A million people saw this movie? Is that basically what it means? More or less. Maybe. Yeah, basically a million people saw this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Worldwide. But like, (laughs) it's not... It's not (laughs) that. And we're four of them. (laughs) Connecticut and Vermont. That's it. (laughs) It's not bad in the way that makes you furious for having watched it. It's not the Chronicles of Riddick. Hey. Because that's real yeah. bad. Oh, yeah. come on. That was better than this nonsense. That's a flip of a coin. <laughs> However. Hold on. Let's get the whiteboard good. out. We need some pros <laughs> and cons point. here. I will say that for my watching this movie twice, because I had to watch it twice just to make Ooh. sure. Uh, I you was, are a dedicated you are, man. son of a bitch. You are a true. I salute you. Son. I was <laughs> bored out of my Woo. mind. That's that's my that's the only thing I can really say about this movie besides what we already talked about. It's just I was just bored. It's just I, very dull. I really want to watch it a second time. <laughs> like like she's I didn't. Get there's it. a scene I, I, where she escapes from the bad guys on a dirt bike and falls off a cliff, and I was just like, meh. And, w- and wouldn't you think? Oh, that- the horse! Oh, I forgot about that. Dumb. Yeah, the horse oh, fell off God. the cliff too, and he had to shoot it. Oh. W- wouldn't you think that that spaceship crashing would have alerted the whole village because that thing had like a, nope. a yeah. mile? It of was light. completely silent. Can they not hear spaceship crashes <laughs> over their own noise? It was on silent mode. And um, where did the guns come from? Where did they get this technology they were like for old, guns? They were like stocked away. They they were like, oh, like, these haven't worked in 20 they were years. Like ill-tempered eel laser guns. <laughs> they were left over from the war with the spackle. But they had them to begin also, with. Also, that's so, a terrible name for a villain. Also, the spackle. But they're not villains, and it's from the books, so you can't blame. You, them you could just that. take that out, and <laughs> yeah. it wouldn't matter at all. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it wouldn't have mattered. That whole conversation, like, "Whoa, the aliens did this," and Doesn't she's matter. like, "Well, they're natives, so actually, we're the aliens." And yeah. like, "No, they killed my mom, so they're the aliens." Like, yeah, what? Yeah, it's just, it's just terrible, terrible movie, the, guys. Don't watch it. The mayor told me that my mommy was the best mommy <laughs> that ever lived, mm-hmm. and the mayor likes me way more than his and, his and, stupid Jonas son. And he thinks I'm a man. Yeah, be a man. Yeah. Be a man. Be a man. Like, I got a knife. In, in, in the books, the Jonas character, uh, the um, Nick. was it Nick, was it Nick Jonas? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was Nick Jonas. So his character in the books oh, God, what, was, in was much more of like the the main antagonist because he was the guy who was like hunting down. You know, yeah, that would Viola make sense. and Todd. And um, the preacher actually had a, a bigger part to play. And the thing I hated in this movie was the when the preacher has his final um, kind of confrontation with, with um, Viola, Viola um, he's so, he, he's kind of like racked with guilt for like killing all the women. And yes. so like he, 
you know, even though he's super aggressive, he wants to be punished for like his sin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so she sets him on fire and he just runs off on fire. Like, Oh my God, I'm on fire. He doesn't even and run. He, and he just kind of lumbers he's away. Like, I'm being cleansed by fire. I, when am, in, like, I am the martyr. And these, Ugh. and these are like his thoughts that we're hearing. What in reality, it would be more like that be scene. Like, oh my God, I'm on it'd be, fire. It'd be more like that scene from Austin Powers where, where uh, the character falls into the fire. He's like, I'm being found very, very badly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you would hear in the thoughts. Oh my it, God, it, this is so painful. <laughs> it, was the, it was the dumbest death I think I've ever seen on screen. So terrible. You know, That's saying something. I, I had literally forgot. <laughs> That's like you just said that. I, I, that scene, that scene did happen. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the final confrontation. Oh, it would be so forgettable. The final confrontation with the mayor where um, to, um, Tom Holland is basically projecting his thoughts of all the women that um, yes. Yeah, women that he's that never he, met. That he killed. He's yeah. seen one girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and Mads Mikkelsen. And he suddenly knows that song that his mother sang to him when he was a yeah. baby. Yeah. And Mads Mikkelsen's character is someone who can control his noise and, and he's able to project stuff. And he's looking at these projections like they're real, like they're actual ghosts. And he's like, oh my God. And he backs up and falls off into like a pit. Yeah. And I, I'm just like, dude, that, that guy was too smart to fall for something that stupid. <laughs> and exactly. too strong. Like yeah. mentally. Yeah, he would have been able to be like, oh, this is just a projection and right. not worried about it. But you no, know, he was like, oh my God, they're in front of me now. Whoa. Yeah. Look yeah. what you did to me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know the truth. I killed all these women. That's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. All right. Very painful. Uh, I'm going to say one star crap fest. Yeah. Uh, Jude, okay. do you agree? Um, no, because um, this didn't make me want to kill myself. Huh. So I'll give it two stars. Wow. You gave it the same rating you gave Chronicles of Riddick. Fuck yeah, I did. I hate you so much. Tom? It's like you don't even have consistency. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're just upset because you can't read my I thoughts. had fun with Chronicles of Riddick. This movie, I did not have any fun whatsoever. Okay, so so my issue is I, I want to watch it again. Not because I liked it. I, I just really want... I, Makes me cringe to I, hear you say I, that. I just feel like I, I didn't see the movie. Like, I, 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 I don't remember any. I sat there and watched them. It was at a reasonable hour. And I would watch this. And I have no, I very, very little memory of this movie. It just didn't add up. Yeah. It, I nothing think, added up. And, and so therefore, no matter what was going on, it, nothing panned out. It was very strange. You said like the perfect word earlier. You were like, this movie's so forgettable. And that's, that's oh, exactly so forgettable. what it is. It's not five years grotesquely from now. horrible. Yeah. It's just forgettable yes. it's just unimportant and when you told me it cost one billion dollars <laughs> to make i'm just like you could have put every actor in hollywood in this movie and it wouldn't have been better no yeah yeah no. Kadish? idris alba couldn't save this movie <laughs> i'm going to cancel the i screwed that up really bad <clears throat> Kadish, uh, <laughs> what's your rating for this movie oh uh, this is definitely a one star crap yeah, in my well, book. I, like th this movie uh, I think Tom said it best. Uh, its biggest cardinal sin is that it's boring, but uh, above the fact that it's boring, it's also very annoying. Um, mm. you, you know, in the book, Viola's character doesn't speak uh, until like they kind of get on their journey, and they kind of did the same thing with Daisy in this, but like it just made her look stupid um, because she's just got that weird look plastered on her face, and she's got the bad wig and constant she's got, confusion. Yeah, mm. and and she's just like looking around like. You know, you're, you're like, wouldn't you try to communicate with these she guys? She has at some never point? seen ground before. <laughs> right. And here she is sprinting and just like out riding, riding motorcycles. Yeah, riding motorcycles. <laughs> I don't know how to ride a motorcycle. No clue. There's a clutch involved. And then she's just like, let me just ride this thing and get away from the mayor yeah. with his pimp hat. And, and also, like, you know, when we see her, uh, her crew crashing to you know, the new world. Like her hair is different. It's like all braided and it almost looks like it's a different color. And you, you know, when we see her on the ground, we're, I, I'm just like, she did, got her, a haircut. Did, did her hair change? Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was very weird. How long was she there? Yeah. Oh, oh. Th I got the sense that there was like some type of gap between when they crashed and when we first see her on right. screen, but the way it's edited in his backyard. Yeah. The way it's edited, <laughs> it seems like it ha it happens like, you know, the next Yesterday, day or something yeah. like that. Yeah. But apparently like she had enough time to like bury her crew yeah. and like, you know, survive out in the woods. She but, found a place to steal from. Yeah, like, but, I mean, yeah. But, but, but again, it was so close to their farm. Like you'd think that they would have heard the crash because that thing was 
knocking into trees. Like so it, much it, noise. Yeah, it, it left like a scar, like a couple miles long. I mean, I mean, everyone in that area would have heard that thing, or at least seen it. Right. Yeah. You know, come crashing into the when ground. When it's quiet, you hear everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you would hear it <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Well, well, the the only thing I can think of is that because of the noise. Like they, they just drown out like extraneous noise, but like oh, yeah. you should have seen that happen in the movie. You would have or seen it. Yeah, the, the other settlements would have seen it. I mean, this is yeah a spaceship coming to Earth. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, you see, I mean, it's hard to miss. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's it. That's our review for Chaos Walking. Are we all on the same page? Just yeah, a big old. D- don't see this. Wah wah wah. Thumbs good. down. Terrible. Ugh. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, don't watch it. Don't just don't bother. It's not worth it. Uh, Tom, where can they find you on the socials? Uh, if you are so inclined, uh, you can find me on Instagram, Big T2681. It's also my bowling handle. Um, <laughs> come in, click likes, give me some hearts. What's your best bowling score? 230. Hmm. Respectable. Yeah. Oh, you, wait, you want, you want to get on this? I, 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 oh, he's dying to start a bowling league. I'm dying to start a bowling league. A bowling league? Well, to join one. I don't know about a league, but I'll come. Play, I'll come bowl with you. That's what everybody says. That's, That's what, what I said to me. What a heartbreaker. <laughs> what are you the big Lebowski? <laughs> yeah, let's roll. <laughs> Just on a shot. <laughs> Jude, where can they find you on the socials? Huh, Tom's fucking bowling league. <laughs> <laughs> the roll <of> shots. <laughs> God damn it, Johnny! <laughs> You're you, out of your almond. You can find me at I am Juju on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Right on. Matthew Kadish. You can find me at Matthew Kadish, K A D I S H, on Twitter, and kadishbooks.com takes you to my Amazon page. And I am the Salty Nerd. You can catch me on Twitter at salty underscore nerd. And as always, stay salty, my friends. Salty.